This is the moon which we see from the earth. When the rays of the sun hit the ground of the moon, that part of the moon comes to our vision. This part of the moon is opposite to the sun. That's why it is hardly visible. This view of the moon is called the new moon. The phases of the moon depend on the position of the sun and the moon. This partial view of the moon is called crescent moon. It gradually increases along with the days afterward. When the half portion of the moon is visible it is called quarter moon. And finally, during its journey, when the whole body of the moon is visible from the earth it's called the full moon. The most beautiful view of the galaxy is being seen on the screen. This is the real picture through satellite. All the small dots seen on the screen are actually the stars, planets, comets, nebula etc. The average composition of the lunar surface by weight is roughly 43% oxygen, 20% silicon, 19% magnesium, 10% iron, 3% calcium, 3% aluminum, 0.42% chromium, 0.18% titanium and 0.12% manganese. Children's fairy tales tell us that the moon is made of cheese, but like all bodies in the solar system, rock is the more realistic ingredient. This is the pole of the moon. If zoom in, we'll see the details on the surface of the moon. The moon's surface is covered with dead volcanoes, impact craters, and lava flows, some visible to the unaided stargazer. Early scientists thought the dark stretches of the moon might be oceans, and so named such features mare, which is Latin for, seas, maria when there are more than one. They are oceans of a sort, but rather than water, such bodies are made up of pools of hardened lava. Early in the moon's history, the interior was molten enough to produce volcanoes, though it quickly cooled and hardened. Lava also burst from the crust when large enough asteroids broke through the surface.